When nanoparticles are administered intravenously, they interact with both target and non-target cells, especially with red blood cells. Among the most interesting nanoparticles as potential diagnostic and therapeutic agents are cobalt ferrite magnetic nanoparticles. To test their hazardous potential, we conduct experiments on biological membranes of red blood cells and on artificial lipid membranes. We use two types of cobalt ferrite nanoparticles in suspension, citric acid adsorbed and bare ones. Washed human red blood cells were separately incubated in suspensions of both types of nanoparticles. We visually inspected scanning electron micrographs and quantified the shape alterations of individual red blood cells. In the sample exposed to citrate acid adsorbed nanoparticles, we noticed a more pronounced shape alteration of red blood cells than in the sample exposed to bare nanoparticles. As we were especially interested in the mechanism of the interactions with the lipid component of the membrane, we incubated the nanoparticle suspensions again, this time with artificial lipid vesicles. Just as in the experiment with red blood cells, we showed that the citric acid adsorbed nanoparticles disrupt lipid membranes of vesicles to a higher extent than the bare nanoparticles. When citric acid is adsorbed to these nanoparticles, it lowers their agglomeration in suspension and alters their biological reactivity. We conclude that the size of nanoparticle agglomerates has a notable effect on their potential to disrupt both artificial and biological membranes. Before the nanoparticles are extensively used in medicine, the hazardous potential of not only nanoparticles, but also their agglomerates should be further investigated.